Today we get to check out this 1970 Dodge Super B. The 70 Super Bs are probably my most favorite uh, classic car. I just absolutely love the front bumpers and the body lines of these 1970 Super B models. This one happens to be an original B5 blue car with the uh, EB5 uh, interior as well. This original, original uh, 383 four barrel Super B still has a 383 engine in it, but is not numbers matching. It does, however, have its original numbers matching 727 tranny. The 383 motor that's in here runs excellent. Engine compartment, uh, the blue paint on the engine compartment all looks good. Bottom of the hood looks good. Original fender tag. Hood shots beautifully. Driver's side gap is absolutely perfect. Lines up very nicely across the top of the hood. If you go ahead and uh, you look at the paint on this car, the uh, B5 blue paint, base coat, clear coat, metallic paint is absolutely gorgeous. It's an older restoration. When I say older, I'm guessing in the last 10 years, probably on the paint and body, but it's still absolutely gorgeous. As we come here to the front grill, the front grill looks like it's all been replaced. It's in excellent condition. The front bumper is really nice. The restorer chose to do the scoops in black. I personally probably would do them in body color. That can easily be unbolted and uh, repainted in body color if that's what you want. But as far as the, the bulge to it on it, the paint job on it, it's beautiful. As we come around here to the corner, back corner of the, of the hood, to the cowl, to the top of the fender, all that lines up beautifully. Check out the gaps all the way across here. Windshield's in great shape. If we look here at the uh, dash, that's all blue as well, and the uh, vents and stuff are still in good shape. A lot of times they'll all get busted up over, over time with heat. As we look at the roof, the roof is absolutely perfect, except for it's got a little ding, and it's an upward ding right here in the center. Just a very, very small ding right there, and it's an upward ding. Other than that, the, the roof's in great shape. We have a couple little paint flaws right here. It's very small. Other than that, the sail panel area is all nice and smooth. Beautiful shape there. Dual exhaust sounds great. Uh, back bumper chrome is excellent. If we look up and down the sides, the body is super straight from bumper to bumper. Just a fantastic show quality 1970 Super B. The B stickers are great. The lenses and chrome around the lens is in fantastic shape. As far as the lower quarters go, no bubbles or blisters. That's all perfect down there. You've got to go to our website and look at the inside of the trunk and the undercarriage of uh, this B. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, the spare and jack and the bottom of the trunk floor is all painted blue with a mat. It's just absolutely gorgeous. If you look at the floorboards, all original uh, frame rails, shock absorbers, all that is all original underneath. Um, still has original uh, chalk lines and marker marking lines on the rear end, stuff like that. So very nice original car. Over the wheel well, the paint is beautiful. No bubbles or blisters there. Give you a nice close up of that. Down here in the lower court, front of the wheels, excellent. No 
No bubbles in the corner of the door. It paints perfect. Rocker panel is perfect. Paint on the door is excellent. All new door handles were done during restoration, it looks like. They're perfect. Our front of the door gap is really nice. Again, rocker panel, front of the door, no bubbles or blisters, no bubbles or blisters in the fender. I mean, the paint job on this car is fantastic. Corner of the door is excellent. This car has always been a B5 blue car right from the factory. That's exactly what it is today. Door jam paint just as nice as the exterior paint. Scuff plates are nice. Carpet was replaced. Uh, seat covers were redone. If we look at our corners of the doors here. You know, you can tell why there's no bubbles on the outside. The inside corners are perfect as well. Uh, wood grains all original on here. It's real decent. Inside the glove box, there's your little fuse panel that you get to. So screw it out of there. Um, it does have a. Uh, Alpine CD player in it. It's got a nice stereo system. Carpet's new when that was re restored. Steering wheel's original. The steering wheel, guys, to be as nice as the rest of the car, the steering wheel probably should be replaced. It does have some cracks in the steering wheel. That's why it's got a wrap on it. It's also got a crack in the plastic right here, guys. Right along here, it's got a crack in the plastic. Um, dash pad has got the original dash pad, but it's got the that hard plastic cap on it. Visors are nice. Headliner's great. Seat covers are in fantastic shape. When they did that, they, you know, the chrome and stuff's excellent here. It's got seat belts, the correct color seat belts in the front. Um, seat belts for two in the back. Dome light works. Headliner's excellent. Rear door panels, front door panels have all been either they're perfect original or been replaced. They're in excellent condition. All the uh, interior trim pieces have all been repainted. It looks to me like we got the original armrest on the back. Um, they uh, do have some cracks in the passenger side armrest on the pad. The, ba uh, the bezels and bases look good. Again, back seat's perfect, front seat's perfect. Very, very nice interior, guys. As we come around here, the dual exhaust sounds great. Back bumper, like I said, um, we have one little chip in the chrome right up here at the very top. Other than that, the back bumper is perfect. It's got a great shine to it, nice chrome. The uh, tail light area is an excellent shape original. So, I mean, you still got some little tarnish stuff on it, but uh, for an original piece, it's in great shape. So we look across the trunk lid, you don't get them to fit any better than that, guys. Lines up beautifully across the top of the trunk, top of the quarter all lines up nice, gaps are nice. And like I said, everywhere you feel in this car, I mean, it does not need a wet sand and buff. It, it's absolutely, completely smooth, nice wax finish. As we look up and down the driver's side, there again, really nice finish. Nice straight body, great curves. Bubbles, blisters, nothing like that on the body here on the pat on the driver's side over the wheel wells. Excellent. It's got some really nice wheels on it. It's Krager SS as they've been polished beautifully. And you got some wide tires on the back, some maybe 10-inch rims, something like that. But the tires on the back are just nice wide tires. Really gives this car this muscle car stance. Uh, Cooper Cobras. What size they are here? Two ninety-five fifty fifteens in the back. No bubbles or blisters in front of the wheel. Door is perfect. No bubbles. Nice uh, gap from top to bottom. 
Same thing in the front of the door. Original 383 emblems, a little bit tarnished just around the edges there, 383 Magnum. As far as our front tires go, they're in gray shape as well. They're 215, 70 15s on the front. Paint on the front fender door rocker. I mean, you're just not going to find one any nicer than this. Really clean. It's got its original sticker here. 1169 is when it was produced. This is a post car. Uh, door panel, driver size, excellent. Uh, all the interior paintable pieces were all done very professionally as well. Just as nice uh, paint on, in here as it is on the rest of the outside of the car. This is a car, guys, that's never had any rust underneath that I can see. It's just a, it's a great car. It's not one that's ever been halfway done. Um, it's an original survivor car that someone put a really nice paint job and, and redid the interior basically as far as I can tell. Again, the seat's in great shape. Back seat, front seat, headliner. Our wipers are working. We know the Alpine CD player works. Heater fan works on low and high, medium also. Uh, oil pressure gauge works, temp gauge works, alternator gauge, gas gauge, all the factory gauges work. Horn works. Guys, so so far, guys, every single thing works. As far as our all the gauges, horn, heater, wipers, radio. This one's ready to go. One more thing, guys. Um, we talked about there's a crack on the dash. This plastic piece here needs to be replaced as well. It's not a very expensive item and you can get it in the B5 blue, but I did not get that piece coming yet. Shocks feel good, don't bottom out at all. Also goes nice and straight down the road. Um, steering really is not bad at all. It's got just a little bit of play probably in the uh, steering box, but not bad at all. Transmission kick down works excellent. Here's your brakes, no pull left or right. They have a nice uh, full pedal. down the road real nice. Just a great driving 1970 Super B. Kick down works on the tranny.